Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Friday, January 21st. And if you're new here, I'd like to say welcome and let you know that this is a channel about knitting and crochet and yarn. And if you're returning, I'd like to say welcome back and thank you for coming back. I truly appreciate it. So in today's video, I have one finished object to share with you, five works in progress. And at the end of the video, I'm going to announce the winner of a giveaway that I did and one that I announced in the last video. So I hope you enjoy all of it and let's just get on with it. So the first thing I have to show you is a finished object. It is technically not a finished object, but the knitting is done. Uh, I just have to sew in the ends and block it. And if you've been with me for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about. I've showed this quite a lot, but it is finished. My sweater that I knit for my daughter, it is finished. So here it is. I can't really see all of what you can see, but see, it's finished. And the last time I showed the sweater, um, I just, I had the arms left to do. So here they are. Um, obviously I've done short sleeves, but they're finished. And I'm really happy with it and she has tried it on and it fits her very well. So maybe if I, you know, sew in the ends and block it quickly, she'll get to wear it for a little while this winter. We start to warm up the end of February here. So I'm very happy with it. And if it does, it really fits her well. <clears throat> So it just proves that, it proves to me that when you swatch and you try it on as you go, that the end result comes out quite well. So there's my sweater. And let me just tell you a little bit about it. So, well, one thing, you'll probably see it again one more time after I block it and sew in the ends. I will show it again. You can, um, and then you'll be able to see it. blocking makes such a difference. And... Hopefully, if she doesn't mind, um, I can get my daughter to model it for you. And I'll take a little picture or video of her wearing it. So let me tell you about the sweater and the yarn. The pattern is by Isabel Kramer. <clears throat> Look at my patterns, how they end up. <laughs> they end up all... So here it is, and it's called the Yume. I don't know why I don't know why I want to say this, but I'm not sure. Maybe you may or Yume, but it's by Isabel Kramer, and it came with instructions on how to do short sleeve or long sleeve, and I did the short sleeve, which is really the way to go when you're making a sweater. It really is. So that is the pattern, and I will link it down below in the description. It's a paid pattern I found off of Ravelry. And this is the yarn. Um, I actually, hang on one second. Because I lost the tag. Not that there's much information on the tag, but I don't have any tags. So this is how the yarn came. This is it. And I can't remember. I do have a card somewhere where I got the company company's name I can't, I can't find the card but at any rate it's it, this is prime alpaca and the colorway is oatmeal it's not dyed it's 665 yards eight ounces so and I it doesn't say what weight it is but this um sweater called for a sport weight and I thought oh yeah maybe that is a sport weight and when I did a swatch I matched the swatch pretty much um I you know I didn't get the the rows but, you know, I don't normally. So I'm thinking that it definitely is a sport. And I used one whole 665 yards. So one whole hank of this. And then I use a second hank. And this is what I have left. And I actually have at least two of these. Maybe three. I don't know. I didn't look over there. But I... Pretty much, I'm sure I have enough to knit another sweater. So that's good. So that's the yarn. It's very soft. And the needles that I used, I used my Haya Haya Sharps, the interchangeable. 
and I used, well, let me look on this because my eyesight never lets me read that off the needles. Because I used the needles it called for. I used a 3.75 millimeter um, and then on majority of the sweater. And then um, on the ribbing, um, I used a 3.25, which is what it calls for. So that is my sort of almost finished object. Uh, yep, that's it for this week. I'm glad it's done. I just and I have to do kind of, I don't, um, I don't, well, there's not too many uns to sew in, so that's good. But the blocking, I get nervous because it fits really well. So I don't want it to stretch too, you know, it could maybe stretch a little bit. It would be okay. But I, I just really hate blocking because I'm, I don't want to do it wrong. So I'll be refreshing my memory with, if it was for me, I wouldn't, it wouldn't, but it's for her and I just want it to come out real nice and sometimes you could overblock something and and I don't want to do that okay so and now we'll move on to works in progress okay so and I have two new works in progress well I will show you this one I did not work on this that much but I'll show it because I did do a couple of rows and this is my Cable Trellis Shawl by Stephen West. This is for the Hyber Knit Along 2021. And this is a paid pattern on Ravelry. I have fibers from that alpaca in my mouth. All right, so I'll show you that. It's living in my Cottontail Farms bag. And this has got two yarns attached to it, so. Makes it a little bit, can get a little tangled. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, come on. See, it's all tangled. Okay, so here we go. So here's the shawl. So that's where I was last time. So I've done that, that much. So not a whole lot, but... I thought I would show it because it's pretty. I actually, I made a mistake. I I missed a, uh, an increase and I went to go and I noticed it on the next row. So it wasn't like I had to drop down. I only had to drop, you know, down one row to fix it. And it created a chain of events that, oh, I ended up having to rip it rip it back a few rows just from trying to fix an increase oh, but anyway that's what happens sometimes I made the problem 10 times worse I really love it I do love it alrighty okay stop looking at it it's just it's just pretty and you like my stitch marker what is this from Vix knits or something I can't remember, but there's a stitch marker. All right, so the yarn that I'm using, and these are, this is being knit on my Addy Rockets. Um, I think they are four millimeters. Mm, I think I can, I think I have the, let's see, yeah, 4.5 millimeters, my Addy Rockets. And the yarn, so I'm using these two yarns and these two yarns right here. The blue yarn is Apothecary Fabrications. It is a 100% fine merino wool, delightful DK. And it's 115 grams for 250 yards. And the colorway is not on the label. Um, if she still sells this, colorway she does typically put the colorways on her website so that's that and this yarn is I'm assuming I think it's a DK it doesn't actually say on here but it is Lang Yarns Frida 
It's Merino Extra Fine Superwash. And it just has a color number. And that's it right there. That is it right there. And it is 100 grams, 220 meters. And like, um, let's see. Yep, like I said, it's 100% Merino Extra Fine Virgin Wool. And it's like a roving yarn, but it stays, it's pretty consistent throughout. It doesn't get big and small and all that. So those are the yarns I'm using for that. I'm really enjoying it. I really am. Other than that mistake I made, the yarn, you know, because, so this, this yarn is fine, but this yarn is slippy and it's also a little bit splitty. And that is, I'm pretty sure when I, I missed, cause there's sneaky little, he even says it in his video. There is, there's sneaky little increases here and there. And I just missed one of them. And on the next row, cause there's a stitch count and I try to keep, you know, count the stitches. Um, because he gives you stitch count after every row. And so I thought, well, I better count. And I had missed it and it was just the row below. And so I went to go fix it and and I've fixed that before. It wasn't like I had to go down like a bunch of rows. And it just I this the stitch got away from me and it just created a big mess. And that took a bit of time to fix. Okay, so that is that. Works in progress. Alrighty, I'm gonna save. So I'll show you my socks. I'll save the new ones last. So these are my knit socks. So last time I showed you, I was on the first sock here and, and I knit my socks cuff down. I was on, I was, this is where I had stopped. So I just had that much to do with the toe. Whoops. Whoopsies. Come here. Runaway yarn. All right, so I had finished. So I finished the rest of this toe. Yep. Um, I finished the rest of the toe and the rest of the sock. And I just, I haven't put the heel in yet. I'm do, going to do an afterthought heel. And that's where I've placed, I've placed, that's where I'm going to put my heel, where those three markers are. So there it is. It's really nice colors. I love them. And so I've started the second sock. And this is where I've gotten so far. So I've already placed the heel. I just placed the heel, gone, done a few rows past that. So I've got the heel placed. So there we go. There is that. So I use, these are my Addy Rockets. 2.25 is what I use for my socks. I do magic loop um, on a 32 inch cord. Um, I cast on 64 stitches. I do a two by two rib for 15 rows. And I guess total rows for including the ankle or the, the leg and the foot is probably like, I don't know, 90 rows, 90 to 100 rows. That is, I want to say. Because this is, um, a lot of times I say it, I do about 25. Well, this is a bit more than that because it's striped and I wanted to make sure, I like to have the heel in the middle of a stripe. I don't know why, but I do. So, yes, so, and what I'll probably, well, okay, I'll tell you this. So the yarn that I'm using for the sock is this yarn. This is what I have left so far. And it is String Theory Colorworks. Oh, it's just so, so pretty. It's the Inertia um, base, and it is 80% super washed merino, 20% nylon. Here's the tag. It is um, 400 yards. 365 meters, 100 grams. Oh, and the colorway is Fourier Transform. So that is that. And then for the heel, I'm just going to do the heel in a contrasting color. And I plan on using this. This is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering in the Jack Rabbit Heather. That's what I'm going to use for the heel. 
And this is in a tea dottles bag. And I think this is a tea dottles stitch marker. I'm pretty sure. All right, so that is the second works in progress. If I ever, whenever I've, you know, because I don't use a pattern for my socks, just kind of what I've figured out over the years fits my foot the best. If I ever don't mention something and you have a question, just you can um, leave a question in the comments or you can um, send me an email because I will link my email um, down below in the description box. Okay, so now I, this next one, this next works in progress. I did try to get finished, um, but I didn't. It's crochet and it's living in this bag, which is a twisted fiber studio bag. And this is my portobello shawl. And where is, I mean, look what I do to the patterns. This is how they end up. <laughs> so here it is. That is the, the, and I will link it down below. I found it on Ravelry. Um, I can't remember if it's free or not. I think it is free. I think you go to the blog and it's free. Not a hundred percent though. <clears throat> so I'm very close to being done. I really want to be done with this. I've enjoyed it, but I want to be done. Okay, so this is where I was the last time, or this is where I had ended, where the butterfly is. So I've done all of that, and I will try my best to show you the shawl. I'm gonna just go like this. So it started out here, and then look at the color transitions. Isn't it nice? Look at it. It's long now, it's very long. And so there it is. I don't think I can really show it a good way. It is long. And there it is. So I please, I hope I get it done by next time because I have enjoyed working on it, but I just, I want to move on. <clears throat> so I'm almost done with the last repeat, very close to being done. And then before, and then there's a border you put on, on both sides, but there are, once I finish, like, let me see how many, I have literally three more rows and I'm done with the repeat. Um, and then there are a few other rows you have to do after that before you start the border. So I'm really close. I I was doing really well and then I put it away and I went to bed and then I, I didn't touch it for the rest of the week. <sighs> so this is the yarn. This is what I have left of the yarn. And it is a Shepshi's Whirl. In the colorway... Um, Blackberry Mint Chip, and this is, um, let's see where, where'd it go, 225 grams for a thousand meters, and it's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, and I am assuming it is fingering weight, and this is the yarn that the pattern calls for. And I just so happen to have one. This, oh, I would get the, this again in a heartbeat. It's beautiful yarn. It feels so nice. I love it. I love the feel of it worked up. So here it is. Yes. It, oh, and the hook that I'm using is a 3.5 millimeter. And so that is that. Okay, so now I have two new works in progress. So this one is living in another T-Dottles bag. 
and it's a knit hat. And it's just a vanilla knit hat with bulky yarn. Look at it. Oh, look at the mousse. I think that's Simply Serving. I got that for Simply Serving. But here's the knit hat. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It's, I love the halo. It's so soft. So that is, so I've got the ribbing done. It's two by two ribbing. And so now I'm just working on the body of the hat. And here's the yarn. Oh, it's so nice. Here it is. And this is Buttercream Lux Craft Angel Hair. And I got this at Joann's. This is a five bulky. Um, it's 100 yards. 100, I'm sorry, 110 yards, 100 grams, 100 meters, 49% acrylic, 30% polyamide, and 21% wool. And the color is blue top stripe, and it is made in Turkey. Oh, it's so soft. And, oh, I love it. It's really soft. I have another skein of this. And uh, maybe I will knit, or sorry, crochet a hat to see what they look like. So I literally did this last night before I went to bed. It goes so quick because it's bulky. And I'm using a 6.5 um, millimeter um, on my Addies. Nope, these are my high, high sharps. Um, 6.5 millimeter on a 16 inch. So that would take me no time at all to finish because I did that in no time at all before I went to bed last night. I love it. I just, I love to knit hats. I love to crochet hats too. I like to make hats. I love them. And my kids like them. And, you know, I don't wear a hat too often, although it's been, it's been cold. Like, well, today's been cold. Today's like today, maybe. But everybody in my family seems to enjoy them. So and they don't mind. If they have, it's like an accessory for them and they don't mind having a lot of hats, depending on what they're wearing, get a hat that matches. I, I love it. I can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. So there is that works in progress. I have one more to show you. <clears throat> and this one is an amigurumi, crocheted amigurumi. It's in my matter root bag. <clears throat> And it's out of the Crochet Cute Critters book, which is what I did my last amigurumi, the Halloween cat. I made this cat, but in Halloween colors, I did it out of this book. And this time I am working on an elephant. It's Edward the Elephant. And that's what I'm working on. So I haven't gotten very far. Um, let's see, but I have his body done. Here's his body. So I got the body done. I've decided to go with this color. I did have light blue, but I don't know. I just saw this color and said, I'm, I want to make the elephant that color. So I did that. And then this is the head. And that's what I've done so far for the elephant. That's all I've gotten done so far. And this is the yarn that I'm using. I'm using, I love this yarn. And the colorway of this is Peacock. It is 100% acrylic, 199 grams, 335 yards, 325 meters. And let's see, it's a number four. It's made in Turkey. And I am using a um, a four millimeter four millimeter crochet hook, and so that is that works in progress that I worked on this week. Okay, so that's it for my works in progress and my finished object or my almost finished object. It's, I still have work to do on it before it can be worn. So now it is time to pick the winner from the giveaway that I 
posted about last week or I talked about on last week's video. So I'm going to have to pause because I did not bring my iPad in here and I want to use that to do the random comment picker, YouTube random comment picker thing. So hang on a sec while I go and get my iPad. Okay, I'm back. I have my iPad with me and the YouTube random comment picker. Um, I have that all up and I have the URL in there and I have the filter comments based on a specific text and I wanted, if you were interested um, in the um, in winning, I wanted you to use the word Hobium in your comment. So I have that in there. So, and all I have to do is press, press the button and pick a random winner. So let me just show you real quick the yarn. So this is the yarn. I'm just gonna go through them really quickly. So there's five skeins from Hobium. So there's this one. There is this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this is open um, internationally. It's open worldwide. So wherever you are, I'll if you win, I'll send it to you. Just remember that I paid for the shipping and the yarn so if there's any other um costs incurred after that such as custom fees or duty fees that that would be your responsibility responsibility to, to pay for that and i'm not sponsored by anybody i'm not sponsored by hobium or youtube or anybody and i pay for this myself and i think that's it and oh please be 18 or older or don't be at least 18. okay so here we go here we go. <gasps> Letitia won. Yay! So what does she say? She says, I love your portobello shawl. It looks amazing. I just got the pattern. I really like how your granny squares are working up. They are very pretty. Wow, gorgeous yarn. I've never ordered from Hobium, but I definitely need to check them out. I'm glad to hear you, that you are feeling better. So yay, Letitia. So Letitia, um, down below in the comments, or sorry, in the description box, I have my email down there. So please send me an email. It's melissavosper at gmail.com and send me an email um, giving me your address so I can send this off to you. And yes, I am feeling better. I'm even feeling better today. I'm still a tiny bit nasally, but that's okay. I'm feeling pretty much back to normal. So that's it. Yay, Letitia. I'm so happy. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. I hope you all are doing well. And I want to let you know that I will have a series of yarn haul videos to show you. I Since September, I have... Yo, I haven't shown any yarn that I bought since about September. I did show my haul I got from SAF, um, the Southeastern Animal Fiber Fair. I showed that haul, but I haven't been showing any other yarn hauls that I've gotten. And then I was, at, you know, was not doing videos for about two months. So I have quite a bit of yarn to show. And instead of showing win one big, huge yarn haul, I divided it up into four smaller videos so i'm going to be distributing those i'm going to try to get it you know um there'll be a lot of videos like within the next week and a half or so for me that i don't I, you know i want to try to do one every couple of days or something every two or three days yes because i want to show you what i bought so instead of doing one big one although i wouldn't mind watching an hour-long yarn haul i know a lot of people you know um that's not their preference so i i I split them up into four videos, so look out for that. I hope you will enjoy it. Again, congratulations to Letitia. I hope everyone is doing well, and you're going to have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you soon. And so until then, bye now.